How are we doing, guys? What's going on, Dominic? How's it going with you tonight? Second half of last night. I am very excited to open it and see what's going on with it. Oh, How are you doing, no. guys? What's going on, Dominic? I got to hear myself. Oy. I'm sorry. My bad. I forgot to turn off mine. I'm screaming at myself like a crazy person. <laughs> That's kind of funny. All right. 2020 Tops Chrome eBay half case number 10. Number 10. Did you hear me yell at myself? I'm, I'm, I'm afraid of myself. Curtis has the Diamondbacks. Chris the Braves. Joe the Orioles. Greg the Red Sox. John has the uh, Cubs, White Sox, Brewers. Good luck, John. F and B. I don't know. I can't remember. Has the Astros, Ryan the Tigers, Jeffrey the Rockies, uh, Barry the Indians, Jason. What's up, Jason? Reds, Angels, Marlins, A's, Cardinals, Seth. What's up, Seth? What's up, Curtis? We got some uh, some RCB guys in here. Royals and uh, Yankees. Dominic's back with the Dodgers. Eric, Twins, Rays, Nationals, Stephen the Mets, Matt the Phillies, Michael the Blue Jays, Luke the Rangers, Kevin the Mariners, Charles the Padres, and Matt the Pirates. Matt the Pirate, isn't that uh, isn't that from Dodgeball? No, it was, was his name something else? What's up, Eric? Young and young. It's good to be young and young. What's up, Rebel? Hope you guys are all having a good night tonight. Let's go Padres. As a Giants fan, I can't share your sentiment, but uh, I'm, I'm rooting for you, CJ. I am rooting for you. You're going to see my Giants go to the left as we go through this break. That is because I keep the Giants. What's up, Mike? In every break that I do, I started breaking to keep the Giants. Um, I mean, to get more Giants, and so I just I just keep them. We started this case last night. We're finishing it tonight. Um, we're not going to be back on eBay until Friday. But when we're back on eBay, Friday and Saturday, we are going to do more Chrome. We are doing more Chrome Friday and Saturday, and then we're going to evaluate where we're at from there. First up, look at that. Jesus Lazardo for the A's. Nothing wrong with that. Bo would be awesome. Jesus Lazardo. Guriel Refractor. Nolan Arenado. Tim Lincecum, a lot of fun. What? How come every time I go, no one ever calls me until I go live, and then people got to call. Everyone calls me. I, it's like when it's like when I anything else, see, you know. It just barely moved out of pre-shipment. Oh, look at that. How pretty is that? John, I was rooting for you big time. I was rooting for you big time. There you go. That is a refractor. Lou Bob, refractor auto. Good for you, John. I'm happy. I am happy. This thing is pretty, too. Let's be careful with it. I knew this was a good case. It started. It started well yesterday. Nah, it's already gone, Rebel. They just didn't scan it. If, are you talking about from this weekend? If you're talking about from this weekend, somebody just didn't scan it. Purdy. 148 out of 499. Oh, that one. I kept that one. I kept that one. Purdy. That good. That's good. That sets the tone for the break. I actually triple bagged that one, Rebel. So it'll be there. Somebody just didn't, again, somebody just didn't scan something like they were supposed to. Web. Hoskins with the shimmy shake. Yeah. 
USPS is making it uh, more difficult. I should try to get a uh, a UPS account and just start shipping everything UPS. Kaboom means Kyle Lewis. Actually, if I'm keeping a super, it would be somebody. Hey, look at that. Mauricio Dubon. I'll take it. Mauricio Dubon base. For the Giants. Max Scherzer. Ramirez with the shimmy. I see Kenta Maeda is uh, going for a no-hitter tonight. Anyone watching Kenta to see if he actually gets there? Crawford, Refractor, Bo Bichette. Well, if we're gonna hit Bo, we needed to uh, we need to hit a redemption, so we'll hope for that. Never. Somebody has them. Somebody has them because it's not a matter of me not sending the package out there. They're not being tracking for it. I just sent for some reason the Rockies instead of the Reds, which means I sent the Reds to someone else in the Facebook group, and they're just not. Either A, they're not owning up to it, or B, it just hasn't made it yet, which is a distinct possibility. Because we've never had an issue where people haven't said, hey, Dune, you know what I'm saying? Bias refractor. You sent me this by accident. Our group is far too honest. Well, let's hope you're... Uh, Rebel, if your package in a couple days doesn't have... Uh, doesn't have tracking. We're gonna we're gonna file something with USPS so they can find it. Junior Fernandez. Well, I mean, I know who's in the break, you know, but that doesn't mean a lot because we ship so many. We ship so many. Uh, breaks out you know what i'm saying i mean it theoretically arena with shimmy it would be someone who was in the break i mean it would have to be that yeah man that's what makes me nervous though because we had one that went to uh that one that went to tennessee and it took 30 days rebel to get from st louis to tennessee 30 days i had issued a refund for the package and the whole nine yards and then it finally showed up 30 days later Duncan with the shimmy shake, or done with the shimmy shake. So the person who had them, they got a package, but for some reason, you know. Did he really? That sucks. That sucks. Maeda, he's been pitching uh, pretty well this year. Is that really? Is that gold? Come on, gold wave auto. Oh, dang it. Too bad. Domingo Leyva, Gold Wave. Out of 50. No, no, no. The person who, who had the Reds, who was supposed to have the Reds, I sent them the Rockies by mistake, is what I'm saying. So, and the person who had the Rockies... Um, I knew he didn't have anything shipped, so I had let him know that, hey, this this happened, and, and as soon as we figure out where it's going to be, and that's when Joel got a hold of me and said, hey, I got the Rockies, but I didn't get the Reds, so I knew where the Rockies are at, and so now I just got to figure out the, now I got to figure out the, the Reds. We've never had that happen before. Blue. Keston Hira. We've never had it happen where someone didn't tell me, so we'll just, I'll be patient about it. It'll happen. Nico Horner. And I'll make it right with uh, Joel for my mistake. Because it was my mistake. Mm 
Yeah, so I sent Joel the Rockies instead of the Reds, and I don't know what on earth I did, who I sent the Reds to. <laughs> I'm glad it, there weren't any big hits in there because I would feel worse about the whole situation. I mean, we'll fix it either way. But, uh, you know. I guess I'm no longer perfect. I, I, I cried about that a little bit. A little bit of snot and tears when I realized that I was not perfect and I too was fallible like every other person on this earth. Um, it didn't make me happy, but you know, I dealt with it as I should have. Tim Lopes. I blamed it on someone else. Tim Lopes. This has been an excellent case. The first half of the break was a pretty good, pretty strong break all the way around. Look at that. Tatis Refractor. Right? So we're going to go with the Tatis Refractor. This is a good hit. Solid hit. And right behind that is a Nico with the shimmy. It'll get there, Rebel. We've never had a package not delivered. Never. In, in the th thousands and thousands and thousands of packages we have shipped... We have never, ever had one not delivered. We had one that took 30 days to deliver, and that was one. The longest we had had before that was two weeks. All this has been be when all this uh, started with the beer bug. This is That's when the issues have started with shipping. Before then, yeah, we never had an issue with... Uh, and it'll get there. I'm, I mean, I 100% I know it'll get there. I, that was idiotic. And I, if I were him, I would have told them to stuff it. If I was Tatis, I'd have said, you know what, dude, I am playing this game to win. And again, you throw me up there something I can hit, and I hit it. Don't complain at me. Don't throw me something I can hit. You know, if you throw me something I can hit and I hit it, whose fault is that? Big cry, baby. You know. And then the, both the managers are upset. What kind of? What the hell kind of? Ha what happened to baseball? Rub it in a little bit. Next time you're up, somebody plunks you in the butt. And you're like, okay, you plunked me in the butt. Benintendi Refractor. Demerit, or Demerite, I don't know, with the shimmy. Yeah! Yeah! I, and the thing is, do and what's it? What's more enjoyable for the fans? Is it more enjoyable for the both for the fans that he hit the grand slam, or that he walked, or he took a pitch? What is he going to take three strikes in a row because we don't want to rub it in? When the hell do we start worrying about everybody's feelings all the time? Arenado refractor. This is baseball for heaven's sakes. This is a competitive sport. So now you're going to see at a cons in a competitive sport we can't do things. Oh, we can't. We can't hit a grand slam. Uh, we can't hit. You know, don't swing a three one at three zero. If he if he lobs one to you, don't swing. Don't swing. We don't want the other team to feel demoralized. Yeah, we do. This is baseball. If we meet you in the playoffs, we want you to know that we crushed the life out of you. We crushed the life out of you. Moran with the shimmy shake. That's exactly what you want in baseball. Feelings? Skip that. Now I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go stronger than that. Now you guys know I don't cuss, so I'm not gonna. I'm not going to use profanity because I don't. But screw that noise. You know, if I was Tatis, and then Tatis, you know, you're almost forced. I'm not gonna apologize to you. Quit being a crybaby. That would have been my response. Quit being a crybaby. Yes, Betsy. How are you tonight? And I got to tell you, I understand Tonoko. And now we're talking about Robbie brought up the Giants game. I understand that Longoria was hit in the back. Okay, but Longoria was hit in the back on purpose. Long, I mean, on accident. I mean, not on purpose. He wasn't hit in the back on purpose. No one's throwing at Evan Longoria on purpose because why? I mean, honestly, why? Uh, Bregman Refractor, Diaz with a shimmy shake. And then your retaliation is going to be to throw at Mike Trout's head twice? No. 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 
Somebody should have somebody somebody should have been kicked out of the game. Hold on one sec, guys. I got a bit on something. Somebody should have been kicked out of the game. I uh, kicked out. Unceremoniously get the hell out and you're suspended. You throw it. Uh, I if another player gets plunked in the back, your your retaliation is to throw at their head. I don't agree with throwing at the head. Do I have a problem with you plunking Mike Trout? Absolutely not. Plunk plunk him. Plunk him in the butt. You know what I'm saying? Plunk him somewhere where it's not going to potentially ruin his career. But you're throwing at the guy. You threw over his head twice. I mean, that's just, it's uncalled for. It's uncalled for. Again, I, I believe in you throw at me and I get to throw back. But I do not believe in I get to throw it at your head. You know what I'm saying? What was Phil Hughes's response? And I missed out on my card because I was too busy making my point. Well, good thing there'll be another one. Seventy-seven out of ninety-nine, Anthony Rizzo Green. So, so I do not, I do not agree at all with the. I, I don't, a, I don't agree with the retaliation from the Giants pitcher because they didn't throw at Longoria on purpose. Okay, that's a pitch that got away. They didn't throw at him twice and then finally hit him. It, it's a pitch that got away. And then again, okay, fine. You, But let's say you feel like it. I mean, come on. Hitting, throwing at somebody's head. Throwing at somebody's I mean, what if you slipped? Okay, let's say you're throwing at it. And let's say you slipped and something happened with Trout's um, helmet when he's getting out of the way. The helmet moves and you whack him in the temple. And you put his lights out for good. Was it worth it? Was it worth it for you? You know, I I just think that the the Sean Anderson is a good pitcher. I I like Sean Anderson. I think he should be suspended. I think anyone throws at anyone else's head, it's an automatic suspension. Automatic suspension. Get out and find the team. A big fine. So that way you you do not encourage throwing at people's head. Again, throw at his butt. Throw his lower body a little bit. Don't don't kneecap him. But you're a major league pitcher. You can't plunk somebody in the butt. Honestly, give me a break. What what is this? What is going on this year that we we have this mamby pamby worried about everybody's feelings crap? You know, or your your feelings are hurt because your pitcher got. I don't, I don't, I don't understand this. This year is just dumb. This year is just dumb. Tyler Alexander, Detroit Tigers. I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that about my Giants, but Ozzy, Refractor, Ramirez with the shimmy shake. I just, you know. Going after a person's livelihood, I, I draw the line. I don't care. We don't say effing. What does it matter with you? And why are we capitalizing? Oh, Ephus. <laughs> That's a whole different thing. That's a whole different thing, Garrick. Ephus versus effing. Yeah, that's a whole different thing. Paddock with the shimmy. <laughs> that's pretty funny, though. Come on, that's pretty good. Throwing the Nephis pitch. All right, yeah, I, I just don't, you know, honestly. Blue. Boo. Austin Nola. Blue. I had visions of uh, two... Uh, Two Lou Bobs in one one box. In one case, I mean. 56 out of 150. That would have been awesome if we'd have had two. I'd have taken a straight blue wave. Correa, refractor, 35th. You know, so whatever. So there is my official opinion on I think it's worse though 
what they have done to Tatis than the Giants pitcher throwing at Mike Trout's head. I think it's worse. Because what have you what have you done? Yeah, there will be archives tomorrow, Betsy. I, I'm not sure exactly what time because I just want to make sure um, Stalmont. I want to make sure that uh, um, delivery is going to happen tomorrow because we've had some problems with UPS um, the other day, uh, this last couple of weeks. But we will have archives tomorrow, unless something horrible happens. Well, then I should be able to get some cases locally. So yes. My short answer should have just been yes, there will be. So, and then, I mean, but if I'm Tatis, I'm Tatis, right? I'm Fernando Tatis. I am, I am one of the young stars of the game. The next time that happens, let's say the game is on the line. The next time that happens and the bases are loaded, I don't care what the situation is, you know, the, the, they're ahead or they're behind, he's going to think about it, right? Jake Fraley. Is that what you want him thinking about? Uh, is that really what you want Tatis thinking about? Should I be swinging? Is that really what you want him to think about? Because now you put that in his head. And if you're the manager of the Padres, you're an idiot. You're an absolute and total idiot because you've, you know, Flaherty, Refractor. Hendricks with the shimmy shake. Don't don't put that in your player's head. Should I or shouldn't I? That should never be a question. You throw me a softball, and I'm going to whack that sucker out of the park. And that is the end of that conversation. Well, don't throw up a softball, and that won't happen to you. But to make him think about it, to, to you know, to make him apologize... That was just the most, it was just the most revolting thing to me that I have seen in baseball in a long time is that you want a player to apologize for doing their best. And that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing his absolute best for his team. And to make him apologize, good for the players that stood up for him. Lazardo. Because they should be. Good for Johnny Bench. Good for... Who was the other one? Reggie. Good for the guys who came out and said, do it. Right. And that's the thing, Garrick. Don't put yourself in a situation where you might have hit someone out. I mean, might someone might hit one out. What were, what were you thinking? Oh, the poor pitcher. Oh, the poor... His feelings. His feelings... Uh, the half case yesterday was really strong. I enjoyed the half case yesterday. We had a lot of good hits. Today we started our second auto was this, so I think we're, I think we're uh, in pretty good shape in this half as well. Lou Bob auto out of four ninety nine. And honestly, and did you say? Did anyone say to him ahead of time? Don't swing. No one, I guarantee you no one ever said anything to him ahead of time. Don't swing. Just take the walk. Don't worry about it. Really? Come on. Zach Gallon. Honestly. And then, you know, apologize for apologize for doing your best. See, that's what it's coming to. You cannot do your best. You cannot do your best out there. You cannot play your game. Kluber. Machado with the shin. And that's just idiotic. I am not I am not paying players to go out there and determine whether or not the situation is or is not what it should be. Oh, maybe I shouldn't swing because we're up uh, by five runs and it's the uh, ninth inning and uh, I don't want to hurt the pitchers. I'm not paying you for that. I'm paying you to knock the crap out of that ball. So don't then get on to him for that. Then get on to him for that. Okay, fine. Hey, next time, dude, can you please look at the third baseman? Third base coach. Tampa Bay Rays. Hey, Brendan McKay. That's a that's a good auto. Ben, Brendan McKay Blue Wave. We have had a lot of color in this case. We have had a lot. We had a lot of color yesterday. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because that's another thing, Re uh, Rebel. What are you doing? What are you saying to this guy for later on in his career? Well, guess what? That's a home run and four RBIs he didn't have before he swang. What does that do for him later on financially? And what does not swing and do for him later on financially? What at all? Oh, we should pay this guy a lot of money because he really worries about the other team's feelings when he gets up there to the plate. And when we're they're up by a lot, man, he always the first thing he thinks about is will I be hurting anyone else's feelings if I swing? Wow, he's the kind of player that I want to pay millions and millions of dollars to. Really? Stuff it, crybabies. All right, demerit or demerite? I'm I'm still I'm still stuck on demerit because I like saying demerit. I mean demerite. Just idiotic. Just idiotic. And someone went to him and said, "You need to apologize." Man, here, here here's your apology get out of here there's no unwritten rule i have never seen that unwritten rule ever where is the unwritten rule that says if a pitcher grooves one in there you can't hit it out a absolutely curtis skip you that would have been my answer and i'm not apologizing for anything don't groove one i would that would have been my apology i'm sorry that you grooved one in there that i could put out of the park because i sure as heck did brendan mckay and if you throw me another one like that and we're up by 40 runs, I, I'm going to knock it out of the park again. I'm going to knock it out of the park again. No unwritten rule. There's no unwritten, unwritten rule. Come on. And then write it down. That's a nice one. Kyle Lewis with the shimmy shake. Then write it down, idiots. And anyone today who says... Is it demerit? Oh, look, I've been saying it right the whole time. I feel good about that. Oh, no, I've been saying it wrong the whole time. I feel better about saying it wrong. Demerit. Okay, I'll start saying demerit. Whatever. I don't, I don't, you know. You know, and honestly, anyone who thinks that, oh, he shouldn't have swung, you're an idiot. Jake from State Farm. He shouldn't swing because that's the only reason you shouldn't swing, right? Right? That's the reason you shouldn't swing is because you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings, right? You don't want to demoralize the other team, right? So, uh, uh, I, I don't, I, I don't understand. This is a competitive sport. Isn't the whole idea is to make sure another team understands that they can't beat you no matter what? Vladdy with the shimmy. Isn't that the whole reason we're here? Are we here to sit around and sing Kumbaya with one another? Or am I here to beat you? If I'm here to beat you, I'm going to beat you by 40 runs if I can beat you by 40 runs. Let me put this in terms that are that would that that I can understand here as a breaker as well. If I go to my distributor, my distributor says, "Well, Dune, we can do one of two things. You know, you've had so many good cases this year. Let's let's spread them out a little bit. Let's give some. We know these are good cases right here. You know, we just groove that right in there to you. Do you want to share with other people so other people don't get their feelings hurt, or do you want to take all the good cases? Really, is that a question? Is that a real question? There, that's it, Betsy. That's it, Betsy. Brendan. Johnny Bench. We haven't had any of these in color, any kind of color yet. Robo Garcia. You know, and for the manager not to back him up, and for the... And for the manager not to back him up is 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 shameful. Play to win. Absolutely. Play to win. In college football, if you're up 14 to nothing, should you stop scoring in football? Do, do they? Oh, no. I mean, we're up 14 to nothing. Let's just stop and let's run backwards. Here, let's give him a couple of touches. Skip that. Nice. Look at Sheldon. That's nice. 
Or it's niece. I don't know. A's are on the board. Yeah, I just... That I... I you know. Whatever. Whatever. And I, honestly, anyone who says, Oh, no. You know. Shut up. Go away. You aren't a baseball fan. You aren't a baseball fan if what you want is is kumbaya moments. Kumbaya after we kick your butt. Urkiti. Hanniger with shimmy. Kumbaya after I show you exactly who has the better team. Us or you. After we kick your butt by 40 runs. And you come over here and capitulate. And then I'll sing kumbaya with you. But until then, shut up. I think I don't know for sure if you guys realize this, but I feel a little strong about this. D Gordon blue. True blue D Gordon. I do I feel strong about this. I feel strong about throwing at Mike Trout's head too though. Yamamoto. Man, baseball is a game of wins and losses. Baseball is a game of wins and losses. I don't. I don't care what happens. I don't. I, I honestly don't care what happens. And if they don't suspend that Giants pitcher for throwing at Mike Trout's head twice, it is an absolute travesty. It is an absolute travesty. Armenteros negative. For Houston. Last box mojo, guys. Last box mojo. You hit a Lou Bob Auto early in the break, and it's like, you know, everything's all good. And then you want to sing Kumbaya. Then you want to sing Kumbaya. Juan Soto Refractor. Last box mojo. So we're just gonna all agree right here. And if you don't if you don't agree, I don't want to hear you. Just shut up. That we are all in solidarity with. Uh, um, we are standing with Fernando Tatis, and he should hit that home run every single time. Every single time. That's it, one? Okay. And this might be a little different for some people, so I won't make everyone agree with me on this. But I I don't believe, I don't care who the player is, no one should be throwing anybody's head. I don't care who it is. Albert Bell in the 1990s should not have his head thrown at. Barry Bonds in the 60 years that he played should not have his head thrown at. You shouldn't throw a player's head. Shouldn't. Not one time. But to do it twice, just, you know, it's it's just... It's just terrible. Alex Young. You know, and if I was Mike Trout, I'd have ran out there and kicked his butt. I'd have kicked his butt up over his ears, and then I'd have been like, now what are you going to do? Get up, throw at me again, dude. Dylan Cease, shimmy. So you know, it shows you what kind of a man Mike Trout is that he didn't, that he did not um, retaliate when he clearly should have. Hey, this is our second one of these. We hit one yesterday. Maybe this one will be some color. Maybe this one will have an autograph on it. Dang it! But Anthony Rizzo, Padres. Anthony Rizzo for the Padres. You know, I'm I keep wanting the, the other one because the first case that we opened, first or second case we opened, we got two of these, and one of them was Cal Ripken Jr. and it was autographed. So now I, I want to autograph every time. Rizzo for the Padres. Pete Alonso. Jake from State Farm with a shimmy shake. It 
So anyway, I hope everyone is having a good day today. I am having a great day today. We had a really fantastic break in the Facebook group of uh, Leaf Trinity. That was really a very strong case. I was very happy with that Leaf Trinity case. And that's just a fun product, Gavin Lux. Lots of big autos. Two Gavin Lux autos, which was nice. Really, true gold. Man, this case has produced color. Good grief. Jake Fraley. We hit a red yesterday. We hit... Um, we hit a go Did we hit a gold auto yesterday? I think we hit a gold auto yesterday. We hit several colors yesterday. And now here we are, once again, popping colors. Boba shit. Now we just need a redemption for the Blue Jay spot, and that would wrap it up really nicely. Wrap it up really nicely. Let's just see one redemption. One redemption. And then if it's not Bo, okay. If it's not Bo, that's okay. But if we get one, then that would be, you know. Zach Collins. For those of you who are new with us, I apologize. I am, every once in a while, I have a little bit of, get a little fire in the belly. You know, and when I feel passionate about something, I, Altuve, Pete, I just say it. I just say it. So to those of you that I, who I have offended, if I've offended you, well, I don't want to offend people, especially if it's their first time. I can be a lot on the first time. I can be a lot, Betsy. You know, we haven't hit a lot of uh, AJ Puck. We've hit three Bo Bichette. Um, there you go. How about that? Now, when's the last time that happened? Syndergaard Refractor and Syndergaard Shimmy. I can I can be a little much sometimes. You know, I I recognize that because immediately we start our break. Um, and uh, uh, no, nah, you've had more than one Bo. Didn't we hit a bow of some color? No. Gonsolin. We'll go back and we'll go back and look through when we uh, recap. Seeger. Lubob. Yeah, we hit a uh, um, refractor. We'll go back and recap it. <clears throat> so I'm not apologizing for what I said. I'm apologizing because I can be a little much. <coughs> Austin Riley. For those who aren't used to me. Iglesias. Bo has not been easy. Like I said, we've hit three. We've hit three redemptions. So we have hit them, two refractors and a base. Uh, but it's so, and that's only our second Lou Bob Blackman refractor. So we've hit more uh, bows than we've hit Lou Bob, but they both have been a little. Lopez, Paddock, there's a Lubob. There's another Paddock. Will there be another Paddock behind that Paddock? Ah, uh, Leva with the shimmy. Yeah, Puck is not easy to hit either. Puck is, we've, we've done well with most guys. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I got two more Giants. I got two more Giants. 
so I'm okay. I'm. I wonder what that. Do you know what that Boba spot went for? Well, it's not going to be that Armenteros. Was it a four-figure spot? That's my question. Jake from State Farm Refractor. LeMayhew with the shimmy shake. DJ LeMayhew with the shimmy shake. Yeah, he didn't. Yeah, I mean, he was getting killed. Uh-oh, is that an orange? Man, this case. This case has just been fantastic for color. Baez. I, this, this, honestly, this jumbo broke like a hobby is for color. Man, oh man. It'd be nice if that was an auto too, but man, this thing is. Four out of 25, Javier Baez for the Cubs. Fulmer, Arenado. All right, last pack. So we'll be back on, uh, like I said, on Friday and Saturday. What? Oh, I was going to say, what is that? Uh oh, it looks like we hit Captain Marvel. Oh, no, new and purple. Hmm. Thought that was a Captain Marvel purple autograph, but it wasn't. Bijou, Keston. I'm going to see how many bows. One. That one. When I hit a, a Vladdy refractor. Two. So two and two. Typical case is five, four or five, depending upon the case. At least it is with Lou Bob. Fraley. Blue. Demerit. Now I have to get used to saying demerit. I may not be able to. with the rookie stat. Two blue. Green. Nico for the Cubs. Tatis. Blue. Gold. And the base. Alright, so things that we took out that needed to be uh, top loaded. Refractor for Tatis. Nico with the shimmy. Lizardo Refractor and Kyle Lewis Refractor. Only um, negatives. We had two Armin Terrors for the Astros and Tim Anderson for the White Sox. We had one retro rookie chrome relic, Anthony Rizzo for the Padres. Um, let's go to purple. One purple, Kevin Newman, Pittsburgh, 94 out of 299. Um, one true green, D. Gordon, 13 out of 150 for the Mariners. One green wave, Anthony Rizzo, 77 out of 99. One blue wave, Keston for the uh, Brewers, 24 out of 75. One orange wave, Javier Baez, uh, 4 out of 25. Oops, I missed the gold wave. One gold wave to mingle labor. So a lot of waves, 26 out of 50. So Lou Bob, we had two base. We had one freshman flash, and we had the really nice refractor auto, 148 out of 499. So that covers that spot for sure. That's good stuff. Um, base, base autos, I had one giant uh, Dubon that came out of there. 
My Dubon collection is probably near in 20. Might be more. Base Autos, Junior Fernandez, Tim Lopes, Tinoco, Alexander, Fraley, Jesus Lozardo, that's a nice one. Gallon, Demerit, Jake from State Farm, Nice, Anise, Young, Collins, Gonsolin, Armenteros. The other one we had that was a refractor is Josh Stalmont for the Royals, 204 out of 499. Two gold, Austin Nola and Brendan McKay. Brendan McKay is a nice hit. McKay is uh, 47 out of 150, and Austin Nola is 56 out of 150. And then a gold way, I mean a true gold, it would have been nice if it had been somebody else on the Seattle Mariners. Jake Fraley, 46 out of 50. So there you go, guys. Like I said, last eBay break, we're going to be breaking a full case on Friday and uh, two breaks, two half case breaks, and then a full case on Saturday the same way. If you're part of the Facebook group, we will have archives tomorrow. At least one break, I'm going to try to get two in um, tomorrow if we can. And then uh, Thursday, we're going to break more archives. And then Friday, we're going to break... Um, what's coming out Friday? Panini uh, Immaculate. Is that, what, is that what is coming out Friday, I think? Some Panini, I believe it's Immaculate's out on Friday, and then we'll have that as well. So there you go, guys. Thank you very much. As always, we appreciate you guys buying in the break. We're going to sort this thing up tonight, and we're going to bag it up and ship it out to you guys tomorrow. Um, so look for hopefully an update unless you're uh, unless a uh, uh, rebel, and then you don't get an update. But post office. Never had a package not delivered, so we're good. So you guys all have a fantastic rest of your night. I will talk to you soon. Take care. Yeah, pictures or anything? I guess I'll take